Hello all, welcome back to another episode of You Got It, Shot Glass Cooking with Brittany. So now that you went to the store and you have all this food in your refrigerator, you're probably like, hmm, what am I going to do with it? Well, no worries, Brittany has you covered. So today I'm going to be making a Zupa Toscana soup, something that's going to last you all week and it's pretty hearty. So you just sit right there, I'll be right back and as always, I'm going to get this on and pop it. Okay, so your first ingredient is you're gonna need one pack of your mild Italian sausage. Now, I don't know anybody that just doesn't love bacon, so you'll need at least three to four strips of bacon. Okay, so you got your potatoes. So what I did is I had four rusted potatoes and I just cut them down into thin medallions. So you don't want them to be thick, you want yours to be almost like a thick chip, but this is what you'll need. Well, if you know anything about shot glass cooking, you know I love onions. So, you definitely need a half of onion. All right, you'll also need one cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. For all that good superfood, <laughs> you'll need your kale. So you can put as much kale in there as you like or as little, but make sure it is the fresh kale and your leaves are gonna look just like that. Yeah, you'll need one full wine glass of heavy whipping cream, you know. I keep the wine glasses flowing, right? So you'll need another wine glass, but this is just regular milk. Now, if you wanna tip the scales just a little bit, it's okay to use almond milk as long as it's not sweetened. All right, well, it's shot time, which is my favorite time, right? So you will need a half a shot of garlic powder, a less than half a shot of pepper. You'll need a half a shot of salt, a half a shot of flour, now this is a double shot of fresh garlic. Go ahead and load it up. You cannot have soup without garlic. At least, that's just me though. I love garlic just that much. I try to put it in everything. All right, a double shot of wine. So if you want, you can go ahead and take this now, then pour yourself another one just for the meal. But you must have at least a double shot of wine in your soup. your chicken broth. I am an advocate for Swanson's chicken broth. I feel that it just naturally already has the flavors that I need. I don't have to over salt my food. I don't have to over pepper it. This right here brings the party home. So don't cheat yourself as I always say, treat yourself. Go out, spend that extra 50 cents and get the good chicken broth. Oh, now brought out my crock pot. So you can do this soup one or two ways. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna do mine with a crock pot. And if you do yours with a crock pot, cook it on high for two hours. But if you're gonna leave the house, then you wanna cook it on low for about maybe three to four hours. Ooh, goodness, that would be amazing. Now, if you don't wanna do that, totally fine. Go ahead, cook it on top of your stove, and it should only take about an hour to make. But oh, you know what? I'm quarantined, I don't have anywhere else to go. So I'm gonna slow cook this baby and take up my time and I get to smell all the goodness in my house. Okay, so now it's time to put everything in your crock pot and I'm gonna make this real quick and real easy. Okay, here we go. I'm pouring in my chicken broth, pouring everything in. less than 
half a shot of cayenne pepper. Less than half a shot of salt. Ooh, yeah. My fresh garlic. Get all in there. You know, garlic is also good for your health, too. You know, since we're all at home and thinking about health, go get you some garlic, too. Double shot of my oil. Double shot of that wine. Gotta have that. Less than half a shot of flour. Good old fashioned garlic powder. Mm, oh my gosh, you guys. It's not even turned on and it smells amazing. <laughs> this is my whole glass of heavy cream. And now this is my whole wine glass of milk. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wait just a few more minutes and let my meat finish browning. Then I'm going to add my meat in there too. And then I'm going to slow cook this baby all the way for two hours. So my meat has been browning for a little bit. And now my crock pot has been on for a little bit as well. So now I'm going to add in my cheese. Oh yes. So I'm only going to add in half of what I have now, and then I'm going to add in the rest for my finishing touches. Oh goodness, I cannot wait to eat this soup. Okay, so now that my meat is all brown and smelling all yummy, I'm just going to pour it all into my crock pot. Bacon juice, sausage fat, and all. down in there. Yeah. Woo. Goodness gracious. This is a sight. This is a beautiful sight. All right, now, now that I have everything in my crock pot, your food should start looking exactly like this. last cook and showed you how to make something out of all that stuff in your refrigerator all right so most importantly guys make sure you stay safe second make sure you stay home and if you stay home you can make this and you can watch the video over again make sure that you go by my page on YouTube make sure you like this video and make sure that you share it all right we'll see you around